My name is Nori and I am uh, one of the percussionista from Corvus Corax. My name is Castos, I'm the singer and also I play the bagpipe and the string instruments. Yeah. My name is Michael Frick and I play the bass, the bass citole. So every every text have a story, and like the, like today when uh, the song from the King's Werker is, uh, was a Swedish king, and he don't like to fight, but he know he's strong, but uh, that uh, we know that story from uh, Sverker, and he have to have to uh, he know he will have a war with Denmark with the Danish king. But he don't like because he know uh, many people will die, and so he goes to the uh, to the king and say, uh, "Don't let fight because many people will die, and uh, so maybe we can speak before." That is that is in the, all the time is the same. Before you fight, you have to speak. So, what what is, what what we are doing with the history? You know, there are bands like they are more academic. You know, they are doing try to do everything. Like it, we are living in the medieval times, but we don't. So we are transforming, we are collecting a lot of information, everything we can get, what we can grab from these old times, then we're transforming it in, in our time. So like what Kassus said uh, about the King's Werker, today is the same problem, you know, and you will find a lot of similarities. Uh, but we. For us, it's important that we're playing instruments and uh, costumes uh, we are wearing, which um, maybe not totally authentic, but it could have been. You know, it could have because all the materials are okay. Like all the instruments you are playing, the bagpipes and the drums. Um, you know, it's wood. You will not find uh, original bagpipe from uh, 800 years ago. You know, because it's rotten. Course, but um, you can find pictures and paintings, and so we try to do it in a way that it is close to authentic. <laughs> and also, when we were uh, a long time ago, we uh, we had a life like real minstrels. We go on the street, we were ba uh, buskers, and we get money, and we look and ask, "You have money now?" No, okay, because now we will live six weeks or two months. Uh, like real medieval minstrels, so we try to live like real minstrels, and that is a I think that is a best way to understand uh, the minstrel uh, the minstrel music or the medieval music with without church and other things. But how do you collect your information for creating or the thing? Libraries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is a life. <laughs> And to find the yeah. to find to find the information, so some people maybe think you ah, today you only have to go to the internet and we will find everything, but you only find these things which already other people dig, you know. And um, the Custers and uh, another member of us, uh, Mjordan, they are hanging hanging in uh, for months now in libraries to uh, to find old books with. Um, Lyrics or song fragments, no one before found. You know and that's our way to do it. You have to go to um, the old-fashioned way, find old books and uh, look if you find something interesting. And when you when you have the old book in your hand, then you can feel the spirit. Yeah. It is totally crazy. The leather and the, the old paper, and the smell. It normally it's not uh, allowed to touch, you have a sp uh, special things, but we touch and then you can feel the spirit and we will play better. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you talk uh, um, already a little bit about uh, your instruments, but uh, can you talk a little more about uh, your instruments and your use of uh, your instruments, your old instruments? You like, uh, you like to speak about bass? I, 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 I have been just understand, but I have to... Uh, uh, 
ja. von, von deinem, von, äh, du ja, erzählst ja. vom Bass. Ja, ja. Also I play the ba bass titole, ne? it's uh, similar to the double bass, upright bass. Yeah, I don't know, that is an old instrument, so looks like uh, yeah, Gambe, ne? so Gambe, bass titole, ja. is a uh, yeah, history instrument from 12th century, 1500, 1400. So yeah, and yeah, I'm a bass maker, but uh, this bass, what I play, is a handmade product from the drummer Hutz. He's make it, yeah. But because the band, the Scorpius Corks, have never been before uh, 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 um, a bass player, you know? that's just a new story for this band. Yeah, it's please great. talk. Yeah. 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 it's great. So also we have. We have an, uh, he uh, will build in the future the, the string instruments, and but we have the other guy. It's Wim, and he's uh, uh, he builds the bagpipes. He, uh, the name is from the factory is uh, Corvus Corax bagpipes, and we think it's a, the the best old bagpipes from all over the world because the sound is great, and we have uh, I uh, had played today in the concert uh, five different bagpipes in five different tunes. So uh, that is a typical thing with, uh, for Corvus Corax because uh, most of uh, people have the same bagpipes, but we have so many different styles and we can change the sound. And uh, the important thing is also the drums. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, the drums oh, yeah. are the most important <laughs> Of course, uh, <laughs> the people need something to dance to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the drums, of course. Um, Probably these monster frame drums, you will never find uh, um, something written that it was really existing, but um, there, it is made of a horse skin. And the people 100 years of, uh, ago they had the same craziness like we right now. So I, I think there's no difference. So maybe there were people somewhere who wanted to have the biggest drum of all. Uh, maybe there was existing such a 1 meter, 20 centimeter frame drum. But um, I want to tell something more about the bagpipes because um, that sounds so easy that uh, Wim is creating medieval bagpipes, you know. But uh, when he started to do it, there were no, because um, you can't go to a museum and look, okay, this is a medieval bagpipe, some, something found it in the earth because it's wood. You will not find something in the earth. It's totally rotten. And so yet, to create this instrument, to recreate. So if you like, sometimes a little bit like scientists to be recreating the history, what has gone for centuries. And he found uh, pictures, paintings, also so hand, hand painted things or at walls at churches, you can sometimes find a guy playing a bagpipe. And so you will check, okay, this was the size of the bagpipe. Then you find notes, then you know what could the people play with the bagpipe. And then you had to go to all the other countries where still are traditional created bagpipes, like in France, in Spain, and the east side of Europe. And then you had to find out for recreating um, what probably was the way they created it in the past. That's uh, for me very interesting. It's like digging a bone of a dinosaur or try to uh, find out by um, checking real uh, living animals, how this animal probably was living, you know? Yeah, you have a very uh, pragmatic approach of music and uh, you think you know, playing uh, in this old instruments uh, is a way to make better music. What uh, was the... Uh, uh, playing with uh, older instruments and new instruments is a better way to, to make uh, good music. When we are creating the... Yes, of course, of course. It's it's one way because we have we don't have only Corvus Corax, so we, we are in another group and we are Berlinski Beat. Berlinski Beat is the music from the 20s mixed with, uh, 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 from Berlin, the special Berlin style mixed with Balkan and Mexican, but with modern beats. So we can we can play so, so many different things, but when we will play medieval music, we need medieval instruments. That is totally important. When you play that with a guitar, uh, the sound will be 
horrible because it is it's otherwise uh, uh, it's the other technique and and so uh, you need old instruments and the old sounds and you have to look for pictures and that uh, time and uh, paint and when the people do like that it's like, oh it was loud or was not nice <laughs> so we we like to do the same yeah. uh, that that the people dance and drink and so we are real minstrels No, that was uh, what you can uh, you can study in, in uh, Basel, is in Switzerland. You can study medieval music, but it is it's the music from from the castle. It's not not the normal for for party. It's not a, you know, uh, uh, the, the king. Uh, that's right, it's a prince from Bavaria, Prince Ludwig. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, von Bayern. The name is the name, he could, uh, and he say, "Ah, you are the Rolling Stones of the medieval time, uh, the the minstrels," and so uh, that is that is what Corvus Corax is. Uh, we are rock and roll and metal, but uh, from the old time, and it is not heavy metal because we play wood instruments, so it's heavy wood music. <laughs> yeah. So I think. Um, It's interesting. Um, before um, before we started this music, it took some of us 27 years ago, um, most of the people thought uh, medieval music it's music of the church, you know, this old Gregorian chants, or this um, music from um, the higher class people, you know, so like the minne and the very very. Old smooth music for the king for the prince you know and but the, and soft. but you know <laughs> like today there, there was ever music for the normal people who are sitting in a bar in a tavern or um, um, people come there is a band is coming uh, to a little town and playing on the marketplace and you can find a lot of uh, uh, the people uh, described it in the past that the, the, the minstrels came very loud, very colorful. Drunken. Drunken. <laughs> you, you, can find, you can find paintings from these times where people in front of a band like this pressing their hands on the ear. So you know, have, you see that was loud music. <laughs> so that's what we are doing. It's a street music of the medieval times. Yeah. yeah, but it is it's, it's very easy because we travel all the time and when we travel in Europe and in, uh, in Asia we hear the traditional music and we understand why the people play that and that we and we remember inside the, the roots uh, and so we we play uh, we play music and then we can feel and uh, and then when the audience give back, us. We were in Canada and the people from Canada say, hey, my family comes from Ireland and now I understand the old music because uh, oh, normally I hear normal Irish music, but you play uh, the Irish music maybe a thousand years older, the Celtic music. Now I understand the... But it's not the same music. Uh, uh, it's, uh, no, it's not the same, it's older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it is step by step. So. Uh, The normal Celtic music, what you what you hear now, it's uh, the traditional music is 200, 300 years old. So, but yeah, but because you don't have CDs, so <laughs> <laughs> you only you can think about that, and you will, uh, and you can feel when you when you go in an Irish pub and you hear the music, it's maybe 200 years old. And you, you have to feel maybe what, 600 years older, maybe what, what, what the people played in that time, and uh, 
we have a we have a friend. He's a musician, but he also he's a professor for Gaelic music, uh, uh, Gaelic language, and he like that the people, uh, the more the Irish people and the Scottish people have to speak more Gaelic, and he was happy that to we. Keep the, to keep the language. Like yeah, it. and he was happy that we uh, try to sing old Gaelic. Nobody understands old Gaelic, and the Germans comes, uh, Corvus Corax <laughs> come to to keep the old Gaelic. So he was totally happy, and he play with us. And so for that, it's it's, it's not only music, also it's to save something. Hey, the you, ideas. You have got different languages uh, in your song. Ah, many. Yeah, old Norse. Which, which? Yeah, we. Uh, I sing old Norse. That is a uh, special. Uh, Viking language thousand years ago like that and uh, after you had Swedish Danish and Norway and Icelandic uh, but first was Old Norsk and also uh, Old English when we sing the Beowulf saga or Gaelic but it's we don't sing in Gaelic we sing in Old Gaelic it's uh, more than thousand years old and we sing in Latin also today was old, old Greek, yes. yeah, old Greek, French, yeah, uh, old French also, well, and and see. also one one song. Uh, but today we don't uh, uh, play. Why? We are in French. From uh, François Villon. François Villon. It's from the uh, 15th century, from Paris. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. very famous writer in that time. Okay. Yeah, you, you, François Villon, and uh, we play the Ballade de Merci. So, and, and also we uh, we had songs in uh, in in in, in, in uh, it's Norman, it's uh, it's like French, but it's all a little bit. Uh, it's also a Viking language. And in your opinion, why there is this need to be very close to his roots, uh, his roots and his um, uh, ancestor in metal music? Why, why is there is a need for it for the people? Yeah. Yes. It's so, you know, I think um, because on the entire world is coming together, kind of, you know, with the globalization, and I like it. It's good, you know, that uh, that you can talk to someone on the other side of the planet. And um, but um, as more the all the humans coming kind of together. I think as more the people are looking for their own roots um, to find themselves. It's just billions of people to find their own roots and um, usually it's uh, uh, nothing bad, the opposite. It's, it's cool because uh, um, the, the culture is diverse, you know, so, and all the different cultures keeping alive, it's a good idea. Some people are a little bit crazy and they're starting to think that their own culture is uh, much better than the other culture, this is the wrong way, you know. But keep it, keep it and tell the people what's your culture and listen to the culture of the other people. And then it's like a lot of colors, you know. It's not black and white, it's very colorful. And when you drink honey wine, then you can feel the past. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's great. Okay, so, um, okay, two questions after this question. Do you know Wagrona? Uh, Wagrona? Wagrona? Uh, yes. This band, and what do you think about this approach of music? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very dark. Huh? So we, our style is more um, still when we have dark songs, it's still party. <laughs> but um, I like it, very atmospheric. 